All right, now that we have our list here of 12 heights, now I'm gonna show you how to find a box plot with a five number summary. Uh, now if you go to here to y equal to, notice I have a bunch of functions, uh, algebraic functions stored in there, and if any, of, if any of these is highlighted on, that means it's gonna graph that. I do not want to graph that, so I unhighlight that, because I wanna do a statistical graph. Now notice right above y equal to is a stat plot and it's yellow, so I must hit the yellow button here, second stat plot. Now notice all these are turned off. If I hit enter in the lower right, I want to turn the plot on. And then notice it's asking for what type of graph. That's a scatter plot, which you would use two lists, so L1 and L2. This is a line graph, that's a histogram or a bar graph. Here is a box plot that shows outliers, and that is a box plot. That's what we want. So a box plot here, and I want to do a box plot with my list of 12 heights that's already been pre-stored in my list one. And my frequency is one, leave that at one. That means that each number in the data is repeated one time, okay? Now, when I hit graph, Notice it gives you a standard 10, 10, 10, 10 in each direction here. My calculator does not know that I want to do a statistical graph. My window is not set up for something like that. There's nobody in my data that is negative 10 inches. So the calculator is not going to read your data for you. But what you can do is go to zoom, item number 9, zoom stat, if I hit zoom stat and I hit enter, it will automatically put my window at the settings that I want. So it's going to recognize that I don't have any negative numbers in my data, so it doesn't need to go down to uh, my smallest x min is 67. My lowest height in my data is 69, so it doesn't need to go down to negative numbers. Now if I want to hop along the five number summary here, I just go to trace, and notice I have my median, which is 73, my first quartile and my lower quartile is 71.5, and 69 inches is my min, my upper quartile or third quartile is that, and that is my max. Now the root word quar, Q-U-A-R, is uh, where we get the word quarter, and there's four quarters in a dollar. So what these numbers do is it chops up the data into fourths, 25% between here and here, 25% here and here, 25% between here and here, and 25% here and here. So we can say that 25% of the people are above 75 inches, 